Hello dear friends, before going to the video, please subscribe our channel for more new videos and information. Camilla Prior to her death, Queen Elizabeth had pledged to support Camilla on the 70th anniversary of her reign in 2022. A royal author claimed that King Charles wanted his wife Camilla to be recognized as the Queen for years. For the past 18 years, I've been telling people that Camilla would be Queen. As Charles pledged when he convinced Queen Elizabeth to allow him to marry his longtime mistress in 2005, and not Queen Consort, which is a title that has never really existed, said Christopher Anderson, author of The King, The Life of Charles II. The King's wife is, of course, his consort, but she is also simply the Queen. I've never stopped being amazed at how gullible both the British press and the British public were on this issue. Christopher Anderson insisted. Charles never intended to, who have always had a special place in their hearts for the woman they felt was robbed of the title, Princess Diana. The author went on to say. Prior to her death, Queen Elizabeth had pledged to support Camilla on the 70th anniversary of her reign in 2022. The late monarch had expressed her sincere wish at the time that Charles' wife be known as Queen Consort. When her son succeeds her, when Camilla, 75, married Charles in 2005, it was assumed that when Charles, 74, ascended to the throne, she would not be known as Queen. King Charles has long stated that Camilla should be known as Queen. In my book, I reveal that Charles hammered away relentlessly at the late Queen for 17 years, pleading with her to endorse Camilla as Queen and not just consort, Christopher Anderson said, adding, toward the end of her life, the Queen did just that, quite reluctantly I'm told, and it was a shock to Diana's sons. William and Harry both thought the King would keep his original promise out of respect for their late mother. After all, it was Charles' affair with Camilla that caused Diana so much heartache, ended their parents' marriage and started the chain of events that led to Diana's death. In the end, Charles and Camilla received everything they desired according to Christopher Anderson.